hello from Antiba again. We haven't planned this little vacation in advance at all. Just like the other vacations we had during the last half of the year, we didn't plan it in advance. We, we don't plan things in advance lately for very obvious reasons, but it just at some point that we decide we want to do the trip everything comes together and here we are after our big French trip after our road trip around France we decided to have a little bit more time uh, on vacation really relaxing time just beach swimming eating delicious seafood and pastries from the bakery and nothing else that's why we took a plane here to uh, the French Riviera, we landed in Nice and here we are in Antibes. We are staying at the beginning of Cap d'Antibes in an apartment from an Airbnb. We really love this part of Antibes. It is my absolute favorite part of Antibes. And we're gonna spend a week here, a week of really calm time for us. I think you've already noticed how much I love Antibes. That is our family's vacation place for already 10 years. It started since I studied uh, in this part of France. Uh, in the university I was here doing my bachelor's degree as an Erasmus for half a year and then during my master's degree as an Erasmus for the whole year I went to schema business school we come here once a year at least and have some beach time and uh, enjoy the local foods and enjoy the local atmosphere we really prefer Antibes to any other place on the French Riviera. You will see, and I think you've already noticed during our last trip in France, that when I walk here in Antibes, I love everything. I love all of the streets, all of the like places, the old town, the newer part of Antibes, the nature, everything seems so lovely for me here. And well, that's why we came here again for a week. As I said, this is going to be a relaxing week for us. I really don't know for now how my vlogs are going to go, how I'm going to film, because most of my days are going to be really similar to each other. But I think I'm just going to film some nice moments for you, some parts of my days to show you what we do here on the French Riviera when we spend the vacation, our vacation here really as locals do. Today is the evening of our first day here in Antibes. We arrived well, we checked in into our Airbnb, the apartment this is not the first time that we stay in this building we love this building really a lot it has a perfect view on the sea it is so close to the beach so we're at the beginning of Boulevard du Cap if you are looking for an apartment on Airbnb 90 I really recommend this part of the town and I'm ready to go enjoy the evening in Antif today to take a little walk to you, maybe have some ice cream. We showed you in our French road trip, our favorite ice cream here in Antif is uh, Gelateria del Porto. If you love gelato, go there. I am wearing today my linen dress from uh, other stories. I wore this dress during our Provence time in the road trip. So this, uh, this is 100% linen. Uh, I love the print with its blue flowers. They remind me of lavender and really they give the Provence feel for me. I'm also wearing my pearl necklace. Some, um, these are like simple earrings from APM Monaco. If you haven't seen my dress, it looks that way. I'll try to go a little bit further. I hope you can see it a little bit now. I will film it a little bit later for you more. So that is a straight dress. It has a um, split here. I really feel like uh, this dress was my most unexpected find of this summer because I didn't know about the other stories brand at all before and when I went in and saw this dress I fell in love with the dress and with the brand straight away. I actually didn't pack lots of things for this trip as it is going to be a relaxing trip. I took two of my nap dresses which I think I'm going to wear every day for the beach and like everyday errands like to go get the croissants. Oh, the seagull sounds are really nice. You feel that you are next to the beach. And well, so the nap dresses I packed, I packed like the shorts and the comfortable t-shirt. And I think that is like it. I packed one Zimmerman dress, maybe I'll wear it for a dinner once. But generally, I just wanna be very comfortable here. I don't plan to dress up that much. I think this vlog is going to go live when it's going to be like really autumn. So the summer vibes will not be very 
up to date anymore but i still want to share with you what, how we enjoy our time here maybe to inspire you for a little uh, Fr french riviera vacation next year and to show you how french riviera vacation can be because lots of people think that french riviera is a place of uh, luxurious vacation only only a place for bling bling show off monaco and can so and it, it is really not the only way you can I enjoy time on the French Riviera. My time on the French Riviera is calm, relaxing, it is antique, it is big sandy beaches, really calm water, warm sea, delicious seafood, delicious croissants. Just reading the book calmly on the beach, enjoying your delicious food, walking around the old town, having some mussels on the market, on the food market in the evening. That is that is French Riviera for me. I think that is that feels like Provence next to the sea, not the Monaco kind of style. But if you are interested in, in the luxurious kind of vacations on the French Riviera, they are absolutely possible as well. You just need to choose more active parts on the French of the French Riviera, like Monaco or Cannes, like uh, the Croisette. There are tons of hotels there. So that was our first evening here. Uh, in Antibes. I really hope that you're gonna like this vlog and that you're gonna enjoy watching it. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and press the like button. It is very important for me to share my content on YouTube. Let's get the vacation started. There are some clouds in the sky today, but I just wanted to show you the view that we have from the apartment here. On, the, on this side, that is the left side from me, we have the sea, the uh, beautiful green trees, the houses, and by there, far away, there is Nice and Nice Airport. So very often we see the planes going down and landing in the Nice Airport. Uh, in front of me, there are like typical houses of Antibes. These are like more older kind of construction. Those with flat roofs are more, if you can call it modern kind of construction. And on this side, there is Cap d'Antibe. So we are at the beginning of Cap d'Antibe and then it goes all the way there. Uh, far away by there, there is a lighthouse of Antibe. At night, you can see it going, like the light of it going around. And next to the lighthouse, there is a church. By there, there is a church. There is a cute cafe next to the church and the night next to the lighthouse where they have live music once a week in summer. And all in all, I think that is the best spot to see sunset here uh, in Antibes and maybe one of the best spots on the whole French Riviera you can see uh, on the la on the right you can see the Cannes Bay and here you can see Nice and Antibes and that is just an amazing place for sunset so all of this is Cap d'Antibes Cap d'Antibes is a place for of luxury villas and mm, really like private properties there are or almost no hotels here just a few uh, hotels which are really in a old style uh, of Antibes there is one super luxurious hotel on the Cap d'Antibes which is called Eden Rock you have seen this hotel I'm sure in the advertising of uh, Dior perfume Dior perfume even has the Eden Rock um, dedicated perfume which I own and which I really love and well Cap d'Antibes is not very big, but it has the road going all around it. And that is maybe the most beautiful scenic road that I have seen ever. If you drive it, all of the views around are wonderful. You can run out there. Lots of people go running around. It is quite a long run, but it's very beautiful. You can go hiking out there. There are lots of beautiful bays in um, on Cap d'Antibes, like hidden beaches, which are really nice as well. Generally, the weather here is always beautiful, even when it's raining, even if it's a thunderstorm or when it's sunny. For me, it always look, looks really magical and inspiring. <music> Good morning, I'm going for a morning walk to go get the croissants for breakfast. This is my comfy look, the shorts, the top from H&M, very soft. Sorry for my morning voice, I think it's going to get better as we, as we get going.
So that is the exit from the building where we're living right now. That is our street. Our street is called Boulevard du Cap. I love this street. It goes um, through the Cap d'Antibes and with it you can come straight to the beach, our favorite beach of Antibes and uh, to our favorite bakery. Mornings are a little bit chilly. I love mornings. I don't like when it's too hot and when in the morning it's a little bit chilly. You have to put a hoodie on to go get the hot croissant. It's just an amazing feeling. Oh my god, we can see a squirrel. A squirrel is spotted. There it is, there it is, there it is. Oh my god. Wow. Squirrels here are big and dark greenish with really fluffy tails and they are quite fat and that is amazing another one another one another one here another one oh my god oh that was amazing that was just perfect when you finish walking the street there is a very cool view on the sea and all of the palms here on the right it's a good spot for taking pictures in the morning the sea is usually very calm very nice the sun rises there all of this space is a parking during the day right now it's almost empty it is supposed to be a little cloudy today i don't know our plans for the day yet maybe we will go uh, to the old town of antibe just to go around maybe buy some gifts uh, for our families and friends and so i'm continuing walking by there is our bakery heading out there and by there is the old town in that direction so continuing my way straight to the bakery ordering three croissants and one almond croissant i think and then getting back home to prepare breakfast. These are my treasures. Coming back home, three croissants, one almond croissant. For breakfast today, I'm preparing fried eggs, croissants. I have some prosciutto to put inside and some nice French cheese. I don't remember the name of it, of it, but I will show you it when I get back home. It's similar to Philadelphia, but it has a stronger taste. It has, it has like a little bit more acid, but it is really delicious. Beautiful flowers here blooming in the morning. You know, these blue flowers, they don't bloom, they don't bloom at night. They just bloom in the mornings when the sunlight comes out. These trees are just so beautiful. They are the special ones in this region. I feel like they look their best here on the French Riviera. morning another sunny day in Antibes here but today's day is not super sunny that's why we decided not to spend it at the beach but to go to a local shopping mall that we really like the shopping mall where we are heading to is called Polygon Riviera this is not a luxury shopping mall this is a shopping mall for mass market brands and for premium brands but I really like it it has a special relaxed Riviera feel to it and it has a good selection of brands it has Uniqlo we always shop at uh, Uniqlo when we come here to get the basic pieces for the year and well heading to the train station right now we're going to hop on a train uh, um, here in Antibes train station and then get out in Caen sur mer and then I think we will walk towards the shopping mall but also you can take a bus to get there so I'm wearing my Gepur t-shirt today with Ukrainian symbols very proud to wear it today here in France I am also wearing a Sandro skirt I will film it for you when I have a bigger mirror somewhere in the mall I have my Sandro bag which can contain lots of stuff that's why I take it very often these days my Van Cleef earrings are here my natural hair is out in the wind it is a windy day today and 
we're ready to go to the shopping mall. I will show you this mall. It is really special. I like that all of the shops are separated from each other. You're not like inside of the big building. That's why it is nice. So I'm walking on one of the main streets in Antibes right now. It is called Albert Premier Street. It is not the most charming one, but it's a big one. It's uh, useful to uh, be able to get to lots of places here in Antibes. Autumn is here. All of the yellow leaves are coming. And this is the tea shop that I plan to come back to in a few days. It is called Le Praline. It is a nice tea and chocolate shop here in Antibes. Here is the shop where I plan to come back to see some clothes. It is called Carole. It is a French local brand with an elegant feminine style. Here on this side is one of the main squares in Antibes. It is called Charles de Gaulle Square, Place du Charles de Gaulle. And on the square there is a big supermarket called Monoprix. It has a good selection of products if you need food here in Antibes or like some uh, toiletries. Monoprix is a good choice. <laughs> That is how Polygon looks like. Lots of shops surrounded by palms and fresh air. Really nice atmosphere in here. Already bought some stuff. I have something from Primark and something from Pekika Cosmetics. I'm gonna show you what exactly it is later. Just got in Uniqlo. Lots of knits here, lots of flannel shirts for autumn. This one looks really cute, I think. I mostly tend to go for red colors in autumn and winter, like warm tones. But I also like the black watch check. Mm, then what do we else have? Some pants, some comfy pants for autumn would be a good idea. I think like some uh, striped one like this look cute as well. I need to try them on probably. Uh, these are cozy hoodies for like staying at home, some pyjamas, these look like Christmas pyjamas even to me. There are some discounts even, some cashmere sweaters here, some more knits. Trying on this shirt and these wool pants, the wool pants were very comfy but unfortunately they were too short for me. Maybe they look trendy but I think it is ridiculous to buy pants which are too short. The shirt, the flannel one actually felt nice, actually Christmassy but I prefer this black watch uh, tartan shirt. It was really nice. These leggings, I didn't like. The color was wrong for me. The t-shirt underneath the shirt was nice as well. And the hat. This um, bucket hat was really cute. It was in gray color, in beige color. They also had it in black color. I think I really liked this hat. I'll show you a little bit later what I ended up purchasing in Uniqlo. Just finished in the Uniqlo. I think we spent two hours there. I've bought three items and I'm very happy about them. This shop is generally amazing for basic items. I really love visiting it once a year to buy like pieces which are basic, which are good for almost any kind of season. I got one plaid shirt and two hats. One is a cashmere beanie and another one is like a Paddington bear hat for autumn. It's going to be really cute. I'm gonna show you them later. Uh, and now we're gonna head through other shops, but generally we're not looking for anything else here. And then taking uh, a taxi and get back home. Here are my purchases from Polygon Riviera. This is the shirt that you saw me trying on in Uniqlo, the black watch tartan shirt. Mine is in a size XS, very comfy and soft. The bucket hat I ended up buying in a beige color. It is almost 25 euro. It is 100% wool, feels warm actually. This is a 100% cashmere beanie from Uniqlo as well in like a dirty brownish color nice soft and warm 
This is a set of pyjamas from Primark. It was 13 euro, really cheap, looks really cute. I think for autumn it's going to be a really nice set of pyjamas. Then I have a powder from uh, Kiko. This is actually a foundation powder. It's not my first time buying it. I really like this powder from Kiko. And also I have a new powder brush from Kiko. I really needed one. Good morning. It is the food market time here in Antibes. Everything smells delicious and looks amazing. Walking from the old town of Antibes, we just visited the food market. It was really, really a nice visit. Food market always brings me joy. The smells, uh, the, the looks of, uh, of all of the food, they look just wonderful. All of the people are cheerful, getting their delicious treats. It's just a great time to spend your weekend morning. Now we are walking next to the sea here in Antibes. I'm wearing my... Hill House nap dress. This is an Elizabeth nap dress. I always wear here. It is so comfy for the French Riviera like everyday life. I have my YSL sunglasses on. There, it, there are some clouds in the sky here, but the weather feels super, super nice. looks before the rain here on the French Riviera especially in Antibes is so beautiful I really like when you have this dark blue clouds over the sea that is just the most wonderful landscape you can see I always take pictures during this weather I think I prefer it even to like sunny sunny summer weather this uh, these dark clouds over the sea so beautiful now we're heading home going to have some tea or coffee with croissants and then heading to the beach to swim and in the afternoon we might go to the old town to look through the local shops we'll see
morning from Antip. It is another sunny day here. Today is going to be a beach day for us, another relaxing day here. Our vacation is going really calmly and wonderfully. I can see some little waves uh, on the sea today, so maybe it will not be a perfect swimming day, but for sure it's going to be a perfect day for just sitting on the beach and reading a book. At the moment I am reading my Peter Mail book. It is called... Reflections on Provence, I think. It is not uh, one of his first books about Provence. It is somewhere in the middle, I think, of the series. I love Peter Mayer's books uh, about Provence. They are just perfect. I think if you want to feel the charm of Provence, you definitely need to read those books. So I am wearing Polo Ralph Florian t-shirt with a study bear, a Stradivarius sh uh, shirt. This is a cotton shirt from this year's uh, summer collection of Stradivarius. My YSL sunglasses are on. I have my hair up in a bun. Uh, no makeup, almost just a little bit of SPF and a lip gloss. And I'm ready to go for the beach. I will show you how how um, the view behind me looks like today. I hope you can see it. Uh, the sea, uh, the um, sky at the moment looks a little bit moody, but it is supposed to be sunny the whole day today. I've had the breakfast already. I had a yogurt and some tea with biscuits. I didn't feel like having a croissant this morning. You know, after you have croissants each morning for, I don't know, a few weeks, then you. I don't know for me, that's just for maybe that's just for me for French people it's not like this but you don't feel like you want it every single day anymore but still croissants are amazing for me they are perfect just empty without anything uh, a really well made French croissants the, is the best without anything inside for me so I think that was it for this morning's update ready to go to the beach enjoy my book and tomorrow is Monday uh, Sunday and Monday here in Antibes are very slow days, lots uh, of places are closed on Sunday and Monday, everything is basically closed on Sunday and most of the places are closed on Monday so we're not gonna do anything special during these days and on Tuesday most of the shops are gonna be open and my plan is to go to the two tea shops uh, that I found here in IT uh, on Google Maps. I want to see if they have Palais de Té tea. I really want to get Palais de Té tea that I tried once when we were in Dovi. I tried uh, Darjeeling uh, Margaret uh, tea and it was really good. I would like to get that one. Maybe I will get some for my friends as well. And also I want to go to look for autumn pants for myself. I really want to get a pair of autumn wool pants to wear this autumn when we were in Warsaw. So that is the plan. I hope you are enjoying this video. I hope you're enjoying this vlog and I'm wishing you a very, very nice day.
morning from Antibes. It is another sunny day here and today we are going to another beach here in Antibes. We are going to the beach in the old town. That's why we have to uh, go by the seaside and see all of these amazing views on the way. Right now I'm walking next to the old walls of Antibes. The sunshine is just wonderful. All of these sparkles on the water. I have my hair in the bun, so it's not the most presentable way to look, but it's just a relaxing beach day. I'm also wearing my nap dress. It is an early dress from this summer's collection. It was called Amalfi something collection. The just I am not tired to say that nap dresses are just perfect for uh, summer vacation. And well, that is September and you can definitely feel the September in the air. Autumn is in the air even here on summer resorts, but I love it. I love autumn everywhere and I love all of the seasons here. That is the beginning of our day, the morning update. The plan is the beach, getting some delicious treats in Antibes uh, when we are going to get back home on our way for lunch. Behind me you can see the typical houses of Antibes. This is like the Antibes old town kind of houses. They are all super super old and they definitely feel old inside. I've lived in this, uh, some of these houses a few times. It is a cool experience but I don't think I would like to repeat it. I am more for modern houses but you have lots of options here in Antibes. Hello from the beach. We are here in the beach in the old town. The water is super warm today. Really like clean, transparent swimming was really nice. I have already had one swim. Changed my bikini into the black one. This black one is from Yamame from the Sears. Actually this year all of the bikinis that I got were the new ones because when I was living in Ukraine I didn't get any bikinis obviously. So I got one in Oisho, one in Yamame and one in Calcedonia. These three, three brands, I think they are like the most common for bikinis and all of the three ones are really good, I think. So the sun is shining, it is very hot. it is very warm, but I can't say it's crazy hot these days. September is never crazy hot here on the French Riviera probably. And I think that is the best time for vacation if you don't need like uh, crazy crowds and partying, if you want to have a calm vacation, I think. Beginning of September is absolutely the best time.
Good afternoon, it is another sunny day here in Antibes. It is a little bit cloudy today. We've had a beach day the first half of the day today. Then we had a lunch. We had a delicious seafood lunch. That's what we really love doing here on the French Riviera. Enjoying all of the fresh seafood that they have here that we don't get uh, in the Eastern Europe. So we enjoyed seafood as much as we could during the lunch and then we relaxed a little bit and we plan to go for a walk in Antibes today afternoon and the beginning of the evening. That's why I got ready already. This is my um, Zara dress of this summer. I got it uh, at the beginning of spring in Zara just before our Italian trip. Uh, the skirt is just what I really like. I really love an A-shaped skirt, skirt, the skirt that is flowing around you. That is what I like lately. This belt went uh, with the dress and you can replace it easily with a belt you like. I didn't have anything that would suit this dress so I'm going with the original belt. I am uh, wearing my pearl necklace today. I really like pearl necklace this summer. I think it brings femininity into into the look well that is my look for today ready to go for a walk around Antibes Antibes is a, my place of inspiration a place where I get my you know energy from where I feel really relaxed and inspired at the same time so I will get my camera with me film Antibes for you a little bit of course you've already seen me uh, filming Antibes for you but just enjoy it in this cloudy weather together with me today one more time here is the tea shop that i told you about previously in this vlog they have palais de thé teas that i really wanted to buy for myself and maybe for some gifts and here are my purchases from the tea shop i have some black tea here the black tea is called thé du louvre it has some like fruits and spices inside also my green tea is called green of london it is like green earl grey tea and of course darjeeling margaret's hope tea the one that i really wanted to buy and the place is called horizon de thé here in antibes time for some grocery shopping in here we are in Monapri here in Antibes. They have lots of nice rosas, lots of delicious stuff actually. And here is a famous rosé called Miraval. It is from the vineyards which belong to Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. Lots of biscuits here, lots of French delicious sweet things. I am not always a fan of buying these things in the supermarket. I will buy a pack of biscuits but generally I really like going to boulangeries and buying fresh baked stuff but as you can see the choice is very big. Moving to the tea section, here is my favorite clipper tea. This is the tea I like drinking before sleep. It is called Marchand de Sable tea. Recently, I have also tried this brand of tea called Le Du Marmot and I really liked it, so I can definitely recommend it. I really want to recommend you this brand from Provence called Colline de Provence. They make candles, some home sprays, mostly like scented, nice products from Provence with really good natural scents. I have two candles from this brand and I really, really like them. This was our short visit to the supermarket Monoprix in the center of Antibes. As you can see, it is full of stuff, full of nice things actually, both food and beauty and also things for your home as well. quickly show you some of the things that we bought during our walk in the old town of Antibes. Here are the table mats to put under your plates on the table in the theme of Antibes of France. I think they are really cute and for spring summer style they are going to fit really nice and remind us of our time here on the French Riviera in Antibes. 
In a little shop called Savon de Marseille, in the center of Antibes, I bought this little soap holder for the bathroom. I think it is cute and it's going to be a nice addition to the bathroom. Uh, the shop is called actually La Maison de Savon de Marseille. It is not far from Monoprix on the main square of Antibes. Here are all of my teas. Once again, I wanted to show you the name of the shop called Horizon or Horizon de Te uh, in Antibes in the old part. I really recommend this cute little tea shop out there. Also, we visited the truffle shop, which is called Signorini Tartufi. Uh, these shops, Signorini Tartufi, they are not only in Antibes. I have seen them in other towns of Provence as well. They sell really good quality products with truffle. I I purchased their products a few years ago and they were really good so we came back to the shop we got a little bottle of olive oil with truffle then we also have what is it the salt this is the salt with truffle so you can add some truffle taste to your dishes combining the oil and the salt it would be a good idea and also we have a uh, cheese this is a pecorino cheese which is powdered with truffle mi mixed with truffle i'm really excited about this product never tried this kind of product before so these were our purchases from the truffle shop here are the soft biscuits that i really like buying in supermarkets in france they are called car or amand uh, they exist um, from different brands and they have really nice almond taste i really love them our vacation in Antibes is coming to an end this time. It was an absolutely wonderful, magical time that we spent on the French Riviera. And I have no doubts that we're going to come back very soon. If you're a fan of calm, relaxing holidays like this, I really recommend you this part of the world, this little town in Provence on the Mediterranean Sea called Antibes.